sometimes an object has a face which is not perpendicular to any of the principal planes on, a, on an object. And we need to see the, the true shape of that face. Now, this is a difficult um, concept, so we're going to have to take this through slowly. Uh, first of all, we need to construct a view where that face is going into the picture plane. And we've done this here with this, what they call a primary auxiliary view. I'd prefer to call it an intermediate view because it has no relationship to the primary views that we were discussing before. We've got um, the front elevation is shown there. The top view is shown, shown there. And to construct the primary auxiliary view, we, we can either construct following that edge BF, or we could do it following the edge BA. We'll, should, we'll look at that one later. This edge BF, if we just rotate through that, through that line there, we end up with a view looking like that, with that face there uh, going straight into the page. OK? If I can bring this over here to show how the object looks. OK. The other thing to note is that we've, to construct that view, we've taken lines that are, perpen that are parallel with this line BF. So we've constructed, taken these construction lines up. The distances we stepped off relate to this reference plane XY. If you notice that when we've got that in that position, that is the base of the object. And here, when I had it in that position, that is the base of the object as well. So the distances we step off from, from the reference plane x, x y, we, we step along. We divide these. We use dividers to get these distances from the plane x bar, y bar. Right. The next stage is to rotate from that view. I got that right. To rotate the object round to 90 degrees, so that this face now becomes parallel with the picture plane. Okay, and we've got the object there. Now, to do that, we've we've drawn these lines that are perpendicular to the line BF. We brought those down. We've drawn a reference plane in WV, which is perpendicular. To the, to the line BF that we took the, that we projected this view from. Uh, we then, using dividers, we step off these distances from this reference plane W bar, V bar, which is perpendicular to this, these projection lines. Now, to justify this, another way of, of, of seeing that um, face coming to true view is to rotate this purely to rotate around that line there to bring it into view. And so we've got the, the, the plan view there. We rotate that round. We have effectively, we can come back a bit, we have effectively the same view as we've got there, except that this is in a different position on the page. So these distances have stayed the same because we've rotated about the line BF. Finally, I mentioned about taking, doing the construction from the, the front view. Here we've got the front view. This is something I want you to do. Is to, we project the, that line BA down to construct, to construct the view um, like that. Okay, we just rotated along there to bring to swing that round like that. Okay. That face there is the white face, which in the top view is at the top, is at the top of the top view. So the reference plane MN, as I've called it in this particular case, is, the, is referred to as the M dash, N dash on the primary view. So all we've done is stepped off these distances. All you need to do now from that point, this is for you to do, of course, is to rotate now, if we've got that lined up right, is to rotate about that face to bring that parallel with the picture plane. So it's rotated round like that. <laughs>